Within the next few hours, Hurricane Matthew is expected to make landfall in Florida as a Category 4 storm. Uh, the last time the U.S. Saw, saw a hurricane that strong was back in 2004. It is expected to become a Category 2 by Saturday night as it moves up the coast. So what do numbers like Cat 2 and Cat 4 mean? Good question. Here's Heather Brown. In the past 46 years, only three hurricanes to make U.S. landfall have been Category 4 or 5. What do these category numbers tell us? It's similar to how we rate tornadoes here in this part of the country. Uh, all it's telling you is what the maximum sustained winds are with that hurricane. Sean Devinney is a meteorologist with the National Weather Service. Or is this the best way to measure hurricanes by just wind speed? Yeah, it, it really is. Um, that's that's going to be your most life-threatening, immediate life-threatening impact. Unfortunately, we're dealing with a Category 4 storm out there. It's like a strong tornado, similarly, but in a much more wide area. This animation shows the damage to homes and trees by a hurricane. A Category 1 has winds of 74 to 95 miles per hour. A 2, 96 to 110. A 3, 111 to 129, a 4, 130 to 156, and in a Category 5, winds are 157 miles per hour or more. We can predict wind speed, but we can't really predict flooding or storm surge. Yeah, those are tough. Storm surge is tough, and we can predict how much rain is going to fall. We can, we can forecast that, but... Um, flooding is tough to predict way out ahead of time. The costliest hurricanes to hit the U.S. are Katrina, Category 3, Andrew, a 5 that hit Florida and Louisiana in 1992, Ike, a Category 2 that damaged Texas, Louisiana, and Mississippi, Wilma, Category 3 from 2005, and Ivan hit Florida and Alabama in 2004 as a Cat 3. Just surreal. That's the only way I can describe it. Remember, Superstorm Sandy wasn't technically a hurricane. You're comparing a wind speed higher in this case. Other hurricanes might be more costly in terms of dollars if there's a lot worse flooding with those. Something we won't know for days. Heather Brown, WCCO 4 News. If you have a good question for Heather, please email it by going to wcco.com slash link.